Hello everyone. In this video, I will be telling you about RPC, that is Remote Procedure Call. Actually, what this is a client-server uh, subject topic, that is RPC, Remote Procedure Call. As you know, uh, in client-server, there is a client and a server. The client it sends the request, and the server it processes the request and send back the output of the uh, client's request. Fine, uh, send back the response of the response to the back back to the client so this is basically client server but if i talk about rpc uh, which means remote procedure calls it is actually synchronous in nature what do you mean by synchronous synchronous means uh, that uh, it will uh, it will synchronize the clock synchronizes amongst uh, each other the client will synchronize with the server that way it is synchronous in nature and if I talk, it's a uh, RPC is a powerful technique for constitute uh, for constituting uh, distributed client server based applications. Yes, it is basically for distributed client server based applications. RPCs are used. Then call a procedure subroutine that is running on another machine. This is a very important uh, feature of RPC that it uh, operates for a uh, you know for uh, for something which is on another machine it is not in the local area fine then rpc like an ordinary procedure is synchronous as i just told you this is very important now what i'm saying is this is the definition of rpc rpc is a protocol and what do you mean by protocol protocol means set of rules fine protocol that one program can use to request a service for a program located on another computer in a network without having to understand network details this is very important that you don't have to understand the network details it's just uh, communicating uh, from one network to another without uh, knowing the network details now i will be telling you about the uh, diagram which is there on the whiteboard before that i just want you uh, uh, to kindly subscribe my channel name Surbesa Roha okay without any delay I just uh, move on with the diagram of RPC now uh, this is a client program now uh, this is uh, the client side and this is the server side fine uh, this is the client program is being running in the, uh, here then it goes down it says client procedure stub actually in client we have stub and if I talk about the server we have skeleton there Fine. So client side, there is always a stub and if I talk about the server side, there is always skeleton. So uh, the client program, it processes, it go to the client server stub where the processing is done, whatever the, uh, they want to think about. Then network routines is there. With the help of network routines, now this is the network routine of client side. Now it will move to the network routine of the server side. There it goes to the processing of, uh, you know, server procedure skeleton, which I just told you that in server side there is a skeleton then it goes to uh, server procedure implementation where all the implementation of whatever the request the client said uh, <coughs> process is there fine then it will go back and it will give back the output to it will the, the cycle will reverse itself and it will go back uh, okay fine so i hope so you understand the concept of rpc thank you and have a nice day thank you